Okay, so wound up heating this bolt with some uh, map gas and a propane like torch to press into this plastic holder. When I did that, that basically got my, my intent was to get the bolt head bottom flush with the surface, the surface here. And there's so much, um, I guess it's HDP oozed up and made a rim around that uh, bolt head, I wound up taking that plastic shaft and just pushing in. And that seemed to see and, and ooze out around the base of that really well, where I pressed around the perimeter to kind of smooth that out. And then I took the torch and I went around that uh, interface, um, like perpendicular joint perimeter, just to uniformly heat up that material. Then I um, did my best to at least eyeball. I didn't use a, a, a gauge at all. But the bolt and then that plastic tube, uh, make sure that was uh, perpendicular as square as I could get it. So I got that, let that cool down. It seemed to be pretty strong. We'll see how this holds up. I decided, okay, after that point, I said, okay, I'm not going to go ahead and cut a little bit off that plastic shaft, uh, that, that tube, and then do the wash right here. I think I have a washer like this. Just drill. I was thinking a hole on each side, like the improved part, but since there's already the two holes already uh, drilled and tapped, I thought, well, I'll just drill and uh, maybe countersink, uh, put flathead screws on a washer, but I was like, this is holding up, so I'll just go ahead and go as is. So I decided to go ahead and put this on, tension, and what you do is you tension the spool, so it's just enough tension, so when loaded, doesn't un unwind, uh, so the wire doesn't just like, is this could just, you know, uh, unwind pretty, pretty intensely, and you have a mess of wire everywhere. And then, you basically take the, well, manually feeding the wire through, until it comes out the end of the, the gun. And then you take and you press the torch basically at the angle you'd be welding at and pull the trigger. And this is, of course, I just did at the lowest setting and the lowest speed setting too. And then you um, keep applying tension with a screw on the feed until that wire starts coming out. And basically it'll bend and it'll loop back in maybe a three inch, four inch diameter, uh, like uh, about this size diameter, a uh, little, you know, coil. And then I, you, know, you pretty much are good to go with the tension. At least that's my understanding. Um, it's been so long. It's been since high school. So I'm just going by the YouTube videos and reading the different uh, welding company uh, sites that have information. So, um, as is, I think this is good to go, so we'll see if I can get around to doing a little bit of welding today, do some beads, but yeah, so got that, uh, got that, um, I uh, got the new ground clamp on, and, uh, yeah, get, um, this working, make sure it's working okay, and then maybe I'll do a little cleanup, I don't know, I'm Mr. No Way Aesthetics guy, so I'm not really worried about the aesthetics anymore, worried about the safety and the uh, functionality of the device. So time to, uh, what do you say, drop some dimes or lay some beads.